Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you all of the different ways to delete multiple events at once in Google Calendar. So here we are in my Google Calendar and the method that you use to delete multiple events at once depends on how the events were created. So you can see I have these meetings here on Wednesday, the analytics review meetings, and this was actually a recurring event. So when I created it, I created a new event and then I went in here and instead of choosing does not repeat, I said that, hey, you know, it repeats weekly on the same day. And so I created all of these analytics review meetings at the same time. So if I go to delete any one of them, I can click on the event and then move over to the trash can and click delete event. It will ask me, do I want to delete only this event, this and all of the following events that were created as part of this recurring event, or all the events. And all the events means all of the events, including the ones that have already happened. So if I choose all events and then click OK, you'll notice that all of those analytics meetings go off of my calendar. The board meetings you see on Tuesday, however, were all created individually. So if I go to delete board meeting number two, for instance, you'll notice that it just deletes it. It doesn't ask me if I want to delete the other ones or not because I didn't create them at the same time. I created them individually. So this can get a little bit difficult to delete multiple individual events at once, but I have two tips that are going to help you. The first one is to use a different view here in Google Calendar. So you can go up to the top right and from this drop down where it says month, we can click and we can go to the schedule view. And in the schedule view, we kind of get a list here and I could turn off some calendars like for instance, the holidays calendar. And you'll notice that I only have, you know, one event in here uh, because I haven't created that many events. So hiding the holidays calendar kind of helps me find them. But let's say I had a whole bunch of events in here and I only wanted to find the ones called meeting. One thing I could do, and I'm going to turn the holidays calendar back on to, to show this a little better. But one thing I could do is I could go up here to the magnifying glass and I could search my calendar and I could search for say meeting. And you'll notice that only the events that have meeting in them show up. And these first two didn't show up before because they've already happened. But the third one was showing up when I hid the holidays calendar and now it's showing up when I search meetings. So I could search for a particular event and then I could click on it to get the little pop-up and then I could hit delete and then I could go to the next one and I could click on it and hit delete. And that's really as fast as you're going to get right here in Google Calendar. But I do have a third solution that I know some people have had success with. I haven't done it myself. Uh, but what you can do is you can actually export your calendar. So if we go out of this search here, we can go up to the top right and click on this gear icon here in Google Calendar and go to our settings. And in our settings, we can go to the import and export section. And from here, we could export our calendars. By default, it's going to export all of the calendars that you have visible. So you'll notice it would export my Anson Alexander calendar. And I could export this as a file, it's a zip file, and then I could bring that into another calendar system that I'm more comfortable with. So maybe Outlook or Yahoo or whatever you like to use. Uh, and then you could delete your multiple events in that calendar system, re-export the file, and then import it back into Google Calendar as a new calendar and you could delete your old calendar. So that is a third solution that some people have used if they need to delete a lot of individual events and they have another calendar system that they can do that easier with. So I hope you found this video helpful. It was actually an update to a 2016 video that is still getting a lot of views. So this is an updated version with the new Google Calendar interface. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you wanna see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.